Right then, Valentine's Day is coming. Right, this idea isn't mine. I cut the end of a demo by Emma the Tiny Toner. Uh, I'll leave a link to her channel down below, of course. Um, where she turned a heart shaped bowl out of resin. Uh, and I went, hmm, gotta try that one. Alright, um, I don't know how she did the start of it, so I'm going to cut the end of this. Uh, but I figured that you would need to know the exact center of the heart so that it spins correctly. So what I did was I made up this template where I know where the exact center is. And what I've done is I've put it up on Google Drive and I'll leave a link below um, in the description where if you want this template, you can download it. Right Now what I've done is I basically I've put the template down, I've drawn around it and I got a brad out and I marked straight through there through the middle which is there now I'm gonna bring this over to the band saw and cut it out uh, and we'll end up with basically a hard shape link so I'll do that and I'll be back in a sec right then there's our hard shape link and there's our mark for the middle where about that pencil right there's our mark for the middle right there. Right. Now, I want to make sure that when I'm mounting a faceplate, that I get the center of the faceplate directly on that middle. So what I'm going to do is... Where did I put my drill? There it is. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a slight hole smack dead center in this just very slow that'll do me a little very slow and then I'm gonna get me face plate and my center finder now, if you haven't got one of these, you should, something you should definitely turn. It's just something that fits exactly in your face plate and sticks out on the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll put the point of the finder in the hole, and that guarantees that that face plate is smack in the middle. Right, take that out. A couple of holes in it. Right, that's smack in the middle now. Now I'm going to attach the screws, or attach the face plate, and stick it on the lathe. Right, I'll do that and I'll be back in a sec. Now that we're mounted up, first thing I'm going to do is put a marcus in. slightly deep with that mortise because there's a slight bounce on that side so I want that perfectly flat so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna very lightly face that off even though there's a mortise in it I've gone well deep enough to allow me to do this should have actually done it first
Right. Faced off and I still have a nice mortise in it. Right. Um, now, I want a slight foot on this. So I'm going to do what I normally do for a foot. And I'm going to define it first. I just want a slight one. Now what you've got to think of is roughly what you're turning is a winged bowl. Right, so that's what you got to think of when you're doing this. You're turning a winged bowl. So, uh, as with any winged bowl, speed is your friend. Right, so I'm going to turn this faster than I would normally turn a bowl. Just because I need the speed. What I'm looking for is a smooth curve. Right, I'm looking for a smooth curve from that foot out to the edge. So we just tilt us slightly. you have to be careful of here is out here right you can't go in at all you have to actually meet that edge okay so there's not much playing room it's going to get down on that foot Into that foot now. There we are on the foot. Now we're trying to get a finish cut on this. trying to come out to meet that edge just to keep that heart shape see I'm still a little thick so Edge, edge, near edge. Right. And that's roughly the outside of that done. Right. Now, right, I'm going to sand and finish the outside part of this because then we're going to flip it over and that's when it gets interesting. Right, so I'll sand and finish the outside of this and I'll be back in a sec. And we get the hollow on this. Now what I'm going to try and do is to get the edge of that heart and add an edge like that. Somebody's at the door. I'll be back in a second. Right. 
I'm back. Where were we? Yeah, that was a delivery at the door. Right, now, as I said, what I'm going to try and do is get the edge of that heart down just a meet up like that. So I'm just going to start hollowing as normal. Slightly low. Much better. checking how we're doing yeah we're starting to cut it watching is how much room I have left here Very close, so Gonna keep checking this. Getting there. Yeah, I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Right now, I gotta start moving in to start bringing the rest of it down to nothing. And you can leave these edges as thick as you want. I'm just seeing if I can get them down to practically nothing here. Just for the crack. That was not the prettiest cut ever. that so it's getting very thin right so I take it finish cut here now let's have a look at that 
Yep. Now we're going to sand that, finish the inside, and we'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm just popping back for a sec here in the middle of doing this, um, just to point something out. I'm just at the Yorkshire gritting stage now at the moment, right? Do not be lazy and don't do the edges the same way as everything else. Right, it takes a bit of elbow grease, but as I've said before, if you finish one part one way, finish the whole thing that way. Don't be lazy about it. Right, so now that I've got that across, I'll uh, get back to doing this and I'll be back when I'm taking the wax off. So I'll see you in a minute. And then just buffing the wax off. Uh, turned out quite well. There's a slight flaw in it and I'll point it out to you when I take it off. You might actually be able to see it from up there. I went to a little severe on the sanding on one of the edges. Because you've got to hand sand all the edges. And I messed up the shape ever so slightly. Right. If you look just there, the shape is messed up ever so slightly just there. But uh, there you go, there's a heart shaped dish for Valentine's Day. I'll take it off and give you a better look at it. So I'll be back in a sec. Right, and there it is. A little heart shaped dish. It's as light as a feather. And as I said, I messed up the shape just slightly there by over hand sanding the uh, edges. Right, uh, hope you enjoyed that one. And again, thanks to Emma over at Tiny Turner for the original idea. So the link will be below. And if you like that one, if you wouldn't mind, click a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.